you kids, I am so excited about introducing a new series to you called Legacy. What a rad word. We all want to be legends, right? And leave a legacy. Well, this series is all about how God left us a legacy, and that is the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit helps us learn more about who God is. This week, we're going to be learning all about that. Let's catch up with our Grow friends from Grow TV and find out some more. Hey, old chicken nuggets, it's me, Carl. Welcome to Grow TV. Welcome to Grow TV. Hosted by Carl. Where we have fun with our friends, talk about Jesus, and go over everything the Bible has to offer. Now, once again, welcome to Grow TV. Hi there kiddos, it's so good to see y'all today. I've had an awesome week. Earlier this week, I went to my Maymaw's house to see all the things she had in her basement. Oh, don't worry, she told me I couldn't. She said there was a lot of things in there that she would pass down to me one day. As soon as I walked in, I found a dollar on the ground. Turns out it was just a piece of chocolate though, which was awesome. Then I found a list of New Year's resolutions I made a year ago. New Year's resolutions are things that you wanna get better at or complete by the end of the next year. I used to write them and send them to my mama ever since I was a kid. Turns out she kept them all in one box. And oh man, did I make some great resolutions. Mind if I read them out loud? I'll read them anyway. I put them all on the interweb. <laughs> Number one, gain five pounds. You see, a lot of people want to lose weight, but I figure I should gain some weight. A couple of cheeseburgers and bam, <laughs> I was there. Easiest resolution ever. Number two, quit spending so much money. I did great with this goal. Knocked it out of the park. Sure, maybe because I had no money, but hey, <laughs> I did it. New Year's resolution number three, only believe in what you see. Now this is a good one. You see, I heard that phrase a long time ago from someone very old and very wise. Only believe what you can see. But I feel like I haven't done a good job of that. So let's try. But first I gotta think of things that we believe in that we can't see. All right, gravity. What is gravity? It's what makes everything fall? All right, well I refuse to believe in gravity. All right. Electricity. All right, I'm gonna look straight up into the lights to prove I don't believe in electricity. Yeah, that's not a good idea. All right, last one, air. Now people say air is super important, but <laughs> you can't even see it. So you heard it here first. I, Carl, do not believe in air. <gasps> oh. Carl, what's going on, man? Look, man, it's been a long time, man. How you been doing? Carl, Carl, I, I, I said, how are you? How are you doing? Carl, Carl, blink twice if you need help, bro. Blink. Carl, breathe, man, breathe. <sighs> bro, what in the world are you doing? What is, what is going on? I don't believe in air. What do you mean you don't believe in air? Well, I've made the decision. I'm not believing in anything I can't see. <laughs> oh man dj why are you laughing i'm sorry bro that's just the funniest thing i've heard in a long time <laughs> you don't believe in air uh, uh, i don't believe <laughs> you're, you're crazy carl you're crazy man <laughs> what's so funny Carl, we have to believe in things we don't see. That's just life. Really? Okay. What about the Holy Spirit? What about it? Well, he is something we can't see, and you better believe he's real. Look, open up your Bibles to Acts 8. Should we read it? Let's go! I mean, you have Philip, right? A man who loves Jesus, being told by the Holy Spirit to go south on a road, then he sees another man from Ethiopia who was reading the book of Isaiah. Yep, and then the Spirit told Philip to go meet him. 
But the thing is, the Ethiopian couldn't understand what he was reading. So Philip helped him and got to explain the good news of Jesus. Then after a while, they passed a body of water and the Ethiopian realized there's no reason that he has to wait to get baptized. He wanted to make the decision to follow Jesus right then and right there. Right, so they walked down to the water and Philip baptized the Ethiopian. Then out of nowhere, Philip was taken by the Holy Spirit to a completely different place. I know, this is incredible. I guess I was wrong. Oh, you mean about the whole believing only what you can see thing? Yeah, I mean, I didn't realize how powerful the Holy Spirit is. Of course. Jesus promised us that he would send the Holy Spirit when he went up to heaven. The Holy Spirit makes us strong and helps us. Help us how? <laughs> With everything. Like when you're upset, the Holy Spirit will comfort you. When we need wisdom, the Holy Spirit will give it to us. And when we need help understanding God better, the Holy Spirit is right there to help. Wow, that's really good news. Because I have a lot of questions about my faith and about God. So the Holy Spirit will help me? Absolutely, Carl. The Holy Spirit helps us to want to know God. Great. <laughs> Wait, that's our big idea. Today's big idea is the Holy Spirit helps us to want to know God. So let's say it out loud on the count of three. One, two, three. The Holy the Spirit Holy helps Spirit us, want to, know helps God. us to want to know yeah. God. Yeah. Woo. <laughs> Good job, everyone. Hey, TJ. I really like that story. Man, me too, man. It's one of my favorites. I can see why. But you know, TJ, I'm still not sure on this whole electricity thing. Really? Why? I don't know. It just seems like kind of suspicious. Whoa, what, what happened? Well, I didn't believe in electricity, so I just stopped paying the electric bill to see what would happen. Turns out it gets really dark. Oh, okay, yeah, that, that makes sense. <laughs> hey kids. Y'all have a good week. We'll see you next time. Hey guys, my name's Kenzie. Welcome to the Legacy Series. Today I'm going to be reading you a really amazing memory verse and it is taken from Romans 8 verse 14. It says, For those who are led by the Spirit of God are the children of God. Stay tuned guys for more amazing lessons. Bye! Hey kids, welcome to The Mad Lab! I'm Ash. I'm Andy. And I'm Jodie. Absolutely bonkers! Whoa! Ah, that was bonkers! I think you went a little too far, JD. That was way too much bonkers potion. Yeah, I agree. Okay, I think we should just get to the experiments. Okay, so we're gonna get started. Today we learned in the lesson a bit earlier about the Holy Spirit and how God lives in us because He sends His Holy Spirit. Now, the one thing I love about science is we like to explain the unexplainable. And so we're gonna do that for you today using a simple experiment to show you the difference between a solid, a liquid, and a gas. Okay, so have a look at the stuff on the table, guys. Wow. What do you think it is? What's that? This is ice. This is ice. You Made your glasses, out of... So you're just gonna hold them water. Let me see here, kids. <laughs> That is ice, yes. Would you say ice is a solid or a liquid? Solid. It's a solid, that's right. Andy, what we got over here? Water. Water. Would you say water is a solid, a liquid, or a gas? Looks like a liquid to me. Looks like a liquid to me. And then we got something in here. Oh, Whoa. that's a lot of steam. Okay, that's a that's gas. That's hot. That's a gas for sure. And so today, what we're going to show you is there is one simple component that is exactly the same in each of these. Do you guys know what it is? I do. Andy? H2O. H2O. Right. I think that's on the Mad Lab board somewhere. Oh, somewhere. There it is. Yeah. H2O. H2O is actually water. And what I love about this simple experiment is just by showing you the picture of how water can look different as a solid, liquid, and a gas. gas. Okay, but one thing that's really important that we can learn from this, and it's just like the Holy Spirit, is that just how God is Father, Holy Spirit, and Son, they're all connected. And so He sends His presence to us in the Holy Spirit to live with us, to guide us, to lead us, and so they're all connected. And just how water can be three different things 
ice, water, liquid, and steam, a gas, just like it's these three things, they're still all the same. They're still connected. It's H2O. And I love that picture of how we can understand that God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit are the same and they're connected too. Now, isn't that a beautiful picture? That, that is amazing. It's incredible. It's, it's bonkers. It's bonkers. <laughs> I love how God works and how He keeps us curious. Yes. And so, go give all of these a try at home. Go play around with some ice, some water, some steam, and see how they're all connected as one. And we hope that you enjoyed today's lesson. Wow. See you guys next Thanks, week. Thanks, Ash. Hey guys, and welcome to week one of Kids Wrap Up. Today we'll be talking about some of our favorite highlights from this week's experiment. But before we go on to that, my name is Inka Niso, and today I'm here with my friend... Mackenzie. Today's experiment was so much fun. We learned about the Holy Spirit and the Trinity, God, Son, and of course the Holy Spirit. And we learned that they have each different elements in this experiment, water, steam, and ice. I mean, it was one of the best experiments by far for me. Anyways, guys, thank you for tuning in. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe. This has been Link Kids Wrap Up. We will see you next week. Bye! Who am I that the highest king would welcome me? I was lost, but he brought me in all oh, his love for me. All oh, his love.
Você 